wonderful friendship it has been. We've laughed, cried, and even danced a few times. <laughs> On our way through these years filled with bike rides, a little more pizza, and our infamous porch talks. I could talk all day about the various ways we have helped each other grow into the men we are today, but I wanted to hone in on a specific piece of advice he gave me during one of our talks. He told me that when you find someone you love, they become your best friend. The person you want to spend all your time with and tell everything to. I personally thought he was talking about me. <laughs> yes, as one of Alex's best friends, I've been lucky enough to experience a little taste of that love. I can confidently say, though, that Katie is truly Alex's best friend. more genuine and deep-rooted love story. Alex cherishes Katie for everything she is and has the potential to be. Katie loves this man more than life itself, and I believe he completes her in a way no one else could. I love you both, and I'm honored to have been able to watch your love story from literal day one <laughs> to your proposal to now and everything in between that's led to this day. And what a perfect day this has been. Let's raise our glasses and toast to the sweetest love story I've ever known. To my best friend, her soulmate, Katie and Alex. celebrate with Katie and Alex as they proclaim their love and commitment to the world. We are gathered to rejoice with them in the new life they now undertake together. Alex and Katie, the relationship you enter today must be grounded in the strength of your love and the power of your faith in each other. Father, we thank you for this gorgeous, beautiful day. We thank you for your love and your mercy, and Lord, and how you're so good to us. And we ask that your hand would be on this marriage, Lord, that you would touch it, that you would be with it, and that you would bless it. Because this is in the name of the Lord, I ask it all. Amen. And everyone said? Amen. I will never take for granted that you've given me your heart. And today, I proudly take you as my husband. I promise you my deepest love and my fullest devotion through not only the pressures of the present, but also through the uncertainties of the future. I look forward to spending the rest of my life with you and creating new memories and falling more and more in love with you every day. to look at you the same way I did on that first day for the rest of my life. I promise to make you warm meals and comfort you after a long day. I promise to grow alongside you and give you all the support to continue to grow for the woman I will spend the rest of my life with. I promise to be a good husband and the man you deserve at your side for the rest of your life. I will love you through all things good and bad and be that comfort when you go to bed. There is now only one thing left to do. By the power vested in me by the state of Ohio, I now pronounce you 
husband and wife. Alex, you may kiss your bride. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not expecting the husband to wear a halo or the wife to have the wings of an angel. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow, is finding rooms for things of the spirit, is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it, it is, is being, being the right, right partner. partner.